It's all about fashion eyewear today on Backstage. And it's a great welcome back to Bev Salatino all the way from Montreal. Montreal, yes. Montreal. West Can Optical. We were uh, a year ago talking about glasses. Yes. You surprised me. You put this display out, and I can't believe how much things have changed in one yeah. year. Especially for the men. Um, eyewear continues to evolve into more of a fashion accessory. We're seeing still a lot of color, a lot of patterns, a lot of textures. People really having fun with their eyewear and having it be part of their personal style and letting their style show through their eyewear. And it's interesting, after meeting you, I took notice of how many people were changing their glasses. And it's true, people are taking notice. And it's become like a fashion accessory. Colors, like you said. Absolutely. It used to be black, brown, gray, gold. That was it. <laughs> and, and wireframes. And wireframe <laughs> and very thin wireframe. And we're seeing the transition into a heavier, bolder looks, um, especially on the men's side. We're seeing a lot more men wearing plastic, heavier metals, um, a little bit more texture, and a little bit more color. Okay, so. We are excited because we are going to do two eyeglass makeovers with mm -hmm. two Shaw employees. So we're going to start with the guys because the guys really do need help, Bev. They do. <laughs> I, you know what? <laughs> not that they do, but men tend to not, in the past, have not really cared about you know, the style of their glasses. They put it on, does it fit? Yeah, okay, it's fine. It was fast, it was easy, they didn't want to spend a lot of time. They're now becoming a little bit more concerned with the styling. Great. Okay, so. Victor, Victor Jarman here is a TSR, Technical Service Representative, and Victor, thank you so much for doing this. You're welcome. It will be painless. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Bev, let's talk about Victor's look right now. Victor's wearing your classic rectangular shape. Um, it's a little narrow. Uh, the color, I'm, it's more of an antique silver. Uh, we're, get, we're now seeing a little bit more brighter colors, a little bit more texture, so what we want to see in Victor is a little bit more updated, bolder look. The, his, what I'm finding is, is the eye shape, it's a little too small. His eyes need to be centered, and I'd like to see s something a little bit bigger on him and a little bit bolder, but not going too far that he doesn't feel comfortable with the style. Okay, Victor, you might have to say goodbye to these glasses, but what is the favorite thing about these glasses that you just love? They fit. No, oh, mm. and, and bendable lens. Yes. Uh, yes. Memory, for, memory metal. Memory metal. There you go. Okay, well, we are going to send Victor over to our yep. makeup artist, Jennifer, to yes. work her magic. Okay, guys, they really don't understand the whole eyeglass fashion right. thing. They think of eyeglasses as a medical thing that's for them right. to see. It'll help them see better, and yeah. that's it. But now, we're, as in any part of lifestyle, we're seeing men take more interest in grooming, in fashion, in you know the cars they drive, the watches they wear, everything you know we're starting to see men become a little bit more stylish and caring more about what they're wearing and the image that they're portraying. Mm -hmm. And also it makes such an impact especially Absolutely. in older gentlemen when they choose to make that big plunge and change their eyeglass wear. It, it, it is amazing how eyeglasses can age you or make you look younger. And I think if you're going with a bold, a little bit of a bolder style, a little bit of color, a little bit more updated, um, not fashion for, but more, um, uh, a more current styling, mm -hmm. it will really take, make you look a lot younger. And don't be afraid of using color too? Absolutely not. Um, for men with color, it's usually as an accent. Mm -hmm. it's, we're seeing a lot of dark blues, a lot of hunter greens, a lot of charcoals, um, a bit more texture, and uh, especially in acetate. So there's so many ways that you can really uh, bring about the styling without going too overboard. And it is definitely okay to have more than one pair of glasses. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, having one pair of glasses is like wearing the same shirt every day, 365 Dem days a year, uh, and <laughs> for three years. So you want to change it up. You, you don't, um, you want to have a different look perhaps for during the day, the weekend, evening wear. Um, so it's, it's a great idea to have more than one pair of frames. How many pairs of frames do you have, Bev? I have probably about... <laughs> more than shoes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, but again, it's like an accessory really. Mm -hmm. And if you think about if women change their hair color or if men change their That's hair color right. now, then they should be changing their glasses to sort of update their look and make mm -hmm. sure that you know that the color of their eyewear complements their skin tone, their eyes, and their hair color. Okay. And now Victor had mentioned that these glasses are you know indispensable. They, they the frames bend and everything. He can't break them. Right. The products now are becoming 
much better too as well. That's right. Well, you know what, there's different materials. Um, there's uh, titanium, which is mm -hmm. very, very strong, very lightweight. There's acetate, which is a plastic, which is also very strong. So there's many products on the market that don't have to have the memory metal, but that are still strong mm -hmm. and durable. Great. Well, there's so much to choose from, but I think you do narrow it down. Briefly, let's talk about shape. Okay. What should we be looking for? Um, one of the things is you take a look at your face shape, and, and the shape of your eyewear should be opposite to your face shape. So if you have a round face, then you look for something a little bit more angular. If you have a long face, something uh, a little rounder, a little softer to shorten your face. That's the most important thing. The other thing really is listen to the eyewear dispenser. When you're going into buy glasses, they're the expert, and you really should listen to what they have to say in terms of too big, too small, the right color, rather than going in with your uh, preconceived ideas of what you should be wearing. Lenses now, if you have bifocals, progressives, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those special lenses, does that limit you then on your choice for frames? For progressives, absolutely. You need a certain depth. Um, but with today's lenses, um, they're much more advanced than they used to be, and, and there's a much shor shorter cor reading quarter that you need. So you can, um, you don't need these big, big, deep glasses anymore, mm -hmm. but there is um, a minimum that you would need in terms of the depth of your eyewear. Well, there's so much information out there, and I think yep. for a lot of us, we do tend to look in magazines and say, oh, those look nice, but you really do need to come down and try, try them, them on. Try them on. That's the thing. Yes. You know, what, that's one of the, the issues about buying your, your glasses on the web. And now I think Victor is ready. Okay. So come out of here, Victor. We'll come over here. Bev, what do you think? I think those are great. It's... Um, a departure from his original glasses in that they're a little bit bolder on the side. Um, they're mm -hmm. two-tone coloring, gray and black with black on the inside. There's a bit of texture and a little pattern on the temple. A very modern, clean, masculine look with, without being too over the top, which is what Victor didn't want. The eye shape is very clean. It's rectangular. It's a little bigger than his original pair and I think fits him a little bit better. Um, and the fact that it's semi-rimless on the bottom makes it a very light-looking uh, frame. What do you think, Victor? I like them. <laughs> They're you good. You like them? Yes. Yeah. Do you think you trade them in for the old ones? I have to think about that, but <laughs> possibly. Okay. Well, very, very striking look now on you, Victor. I think you should go back to work. They're not going to know it's the same person. Yeah, it's a great, <laughs> this frame is made by Avatic, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a brand new uh, collection that's out on the market that's made specifically for men. Oh, it's beautiful, actually. Very stunning. All right, well, thank you so much, Victor. Thank you. So we're going to switch gears now and go to women. Yes. So right now we're going to call upon Heather Penner, and she's a customer service and retail representative here at Shaw. Hi. Thank you so much, Heather, for yes, doing this. Thanks, thanks. Yes. And I just want to mention, Heather has done a drastic hair change. So, because I didn't recognize her on Oasis, her picture, she was blonde. I ha still have to mention this because you looked so, so different. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. Just amazing what a, a difference of hair color does. So now frames have to match that. Yes. Well, I think frames not so much match, but they have to complement. Your, your, the color of your frame should be complementing your skin tone, your eyes, and your hair. Um, in terms of the frames you're wearing now, the color on you is beautiful. What I find is that they sit a bit low, so they cut the top part of your eye off. The top of your frame should follow your brow and your eye should be centered. So it's a little bit big down at the bottom. There's a lot of extra lenses and because you don't need a progressive lens, there's no reason for you to have that much lens down at the bottom. Are you ready for your makeover? Ready. Okay, so <laughs> head on over to Jennifer. Okay, ladies. Yes. Like la shoes, we want to have fashion glasses, and we can have fashion glasses yes. without lenses. Yes. Or with without clear. Yeah. With prescription. I think that the big thing for women, we're continuing to see an evolution of the trends. Color's been really big for the last couple of years, mm -hmm. and it's continuing to be popular. I think women are embracing color in everything, whether it's their handbags, their shoes, their clothing, and their eyewear. Um, we're starting to see a lot of great accent colors like teal and aquas this year are huge. It's one That's of the beautiful. yeah, it's it's one of the strongest colors it, both in fashion and in eyewear. And what we've done with this pair is it's a combination of charcoal on the on as the main color and then the secondary color is the teal and it's a very soft pretty floral pattern with some laser engraving to give it sort of a, a lace yeah, feminine uh, feminine look. 
Um, I do like those other blue ones. These ones here. This is great. Uh, this is, shows a perfect example of um, how pa pattern is becoming very popular in eyewear. It's sort of a Pucci-esque mm -hmm. type pattern. Um, again, two-tone coloring. Uh, this is it, this has the blues and teals, but it also comes in brown and orange and purple and fuchsia. So it's a really, really fun pair of glasses that from the front tends to be a little bit more basic, but then when you turn to the side, you get that pop of color and that wow um, design on the temple. Perfect. Wondering now about sports. Yes. Especially if you're out golfing. Right. Four hours in the hot sun, right. you're sweating, your hair and everything. Yep. Should you be looking at a different type of frame well, for sports? First of all, if you're outside, you should be wearing sunglasses, um, whether mm -hmm. they pr be prescription or, or fit overs. Um, it's very important that um, you have proper sun protection when you're outdoors. In respect to um, just wearing your frames, unless you're, you're doing contact sports, there really okay. is no reason <laughs> for you not to wear your frames. You have to make sure that they fit properly, mm -hmm. um, that they, they don't, they're not loose and they're not going to fall off. But other than that, there really is no reason why you shouldn't be wearing your, your frames when you're doing non-contact sports. And I just saw Victor's glasses. I really like mm -hmm. them. Is there like taboo for women to maybe wear men's frames or? I think it. It's depends. not so much men's frames versus ladies' frames. It depends on the style. And like we have a couple, if we can move over there, there's yes. a couple of um, of attic styles mm -hmm. that come in the new retro eye oh, shape, yeah. which is very, very popular for both men and women today. Um, this this frame, even though it, it's actually part of a men's collection, has been very popular with women just based on the eye shape and the fact that there is color with this one, it's black and blue. It also comes in brown and green. So depending on the style, women can wear some of the men's frames, but for something that's very, very masculine, like something like this like type of one. shape really yes. is, is De a definitely. man's frame. A man's and, frame. And, and, your, and your eyewear dispenser will know the difference mm -hmm. of a man versus a, a, a lady's frame. And the men are doing the colored plastics Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Um, this Avatic frame is, is one of our new models and it's an acetate frame with a bit of metal down at the bottom and rather than having a solid black we've paired it with some marbleized um, acid plastic so it gives a, a bit of a lighter look to it. As well we have um, this other Avatic frame which is also plastic but it has a tweed pattern. So it looks great with a suit. Oh, it's yes. a really, really amazing frame, and it's just very clean and masculine and very, very tailored. Wow. I mean, certainly that would be a stunner. Oh, absolutely. It's yes. a great, great frame on. It's one of our best sellers. And we're, okay, we're talking about makeup now as well, too, because Jennifer's t doing her little yep. touch-ups. For men, it's just basically self-grooming, and I think absolutely. sometimes they tend to forget about the eyebrows. Yes. <laughs> the eyebrows are, you know what, they're the most important thing for both men and wear women. When you wear glasses, your eyebrows should be groomed. They should be a bit bolder because your, your glasses should be following your brow, and it's something that people notice when you are wearing glasses. Mm -hmm. And for ladies, eyeshadows. I guess we can wear colors. Absolutely, you can wear color. I think as in you know the everyday life, less is usually more. Mm -hmm. um, and you also have to be careful with the type of prescription you wear. Sometimes your eyes appear bigger, mm -hmm. sometimes smaller. If they're bigger, you need to really be careful. If, you're, if it's going to be magnified, you need to be careful about how you apply it and how much you apply. And again, if your eyes are going to be demagnified, you're, you're okay to wear, wear a little bit more uh, makeup. Yeah, but I guess this must be a fabulous job though for you. That we were talking fun. about traveling yep. uh, with fashion and it's always been a passion for you, a family business that's yes. been passed on. Yes, it's uh, my father started the business. It'll be 50 years next year. So it's really exciting for us and um, it's something that I grew up with and, and I, with this job, uh, with me being uh, responsible for all the product development, I'm able to uh, take my love of fashion, my love of travel, my love of interior design and put it together and uh, really have fun with the frames. Oh my goodness, and it's, got, it's come along oh, so much. absolutely. If you think 50 years back. Black, brown. <laughs> that was and it. And then 20 years later, gray. Great, That's, yes. And now we're slowly getting into color. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. And you know, now 
people want to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. It used to be that, you know, they had a pair of ugly glasses, they didn't want to wear it out, and now people are really embracing it. And there's more and more people just getting glasses as a fashion accessory with, without any prescription lenses, and it just creates a look. Certainly, and we do have a final look for Heather. Come on out, Heather. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh, I like the choice. Yeah. Yes. It, this uh, model that, that we chose for Heather, it's, it's by Click Denmark. It is a combination frame. It's a stainless steel front with TR90 temples with a pattern, uh, sort of a swirly, circly, psychedelic <laughs> pattern in the temple. It's two-tone. It's actually purple on the outside and the inside of the frame is fuchsia. So purple right now is one of the hottest colors for ladies in eyewear. It's one of those colors that pretty much looks good on everyone. Mm -hmm. Purples and berries, it's replacing sort of black and brown as the color for women. Um, the big difference that I found with this frame versus her, the her frame that one. she was wearing is this follows her brow much better. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't cut off her eyes. There's not as much empty lens and it's just very flattering. She has a tiny, tiny face, and I felt that the other frames were a little too big for her face. This fits her a little bit more proportionally. It's a really modern, fun look. And is there maybe a second choice? Yeah, one of the things that we were looking at, because of her dark hair and coloring and her blue, bluish, greenish eyes, mm. we found this frame from Fish, which really the coloring oh, on pops. her is, is, is great. The, um, the aqua color just pops out and uh, is really young and it's fresh and feminine. So it's, it's a really fun second look for her. Okay, so if you had to choose, Heather, which one would it be? Between the two or can I pick a few? <laughs> <laughs> all of them, yes, all of them on the table. I think I picked out five I like yeah. so far, but I love the purples, the purples are great. Yeah, yeah it was fabulous yeah. color. Okay, Victor, come on out. We'll do one big finale here. Here are Bev's choices. Once again, Bev, thank you so much for dropping by. My pleasure. Yes, and thank you, Victor and Heather Great, from Shaw. There you go, fashion eyewear for 2010. For Shaw TV, I'm Tracy Koga. <laughs>